and welcome to Optics Trades YouTube channel. I'm Andras and I'm here with Bjorn from Leica. We are at EVA 2024, we are at their booth checking out their new stuff for the year and uh, what immediately grabbed our attention is the new Kalanox. So Leica introduced Kalanox a couple of years ago. It was a thermal um, clip-on and thermal handheld monocular. Now they're introducing the second generation. Uh, the first question and probably what interests our viewers the most is what are the differences between the first and the second generation? In general, it's a completely different design, a completely different uh, device itself. What we kept is we have a clip-on, so the Kalonox side two, and we have a clip, uh, uh, an observation device, so the Kalonox uh, view two. Um, both of them are available with or without integrated laser rangefinder. So that's the main, the main thing. Um, in general, both of them right now using the, uh, the big sensors, the uh, 640 by 480. Um, also, the clip-on right now has a video function. And the clip-on itself, all the devices, or in general, both devices, they are shutterless. So there's no click-click anymore, you know, when the, the image needs to be refreshed and so on. That's completely, there's a Leica software running in the background. Uh, so the image doesn't get bad at all. Um, and the clip-on device doesn't need to be sided in. So that means if your rifle system, your mounting system um, is capable, is stable and is capable of doing it, um, you just click it in front of your rifle scope and it has the same point of impact like you have it with your rifle scope. Since this is only uh, available with a sensor of 640 by 480 pixels, I assume that you're going to be keeping the Kalanox SE version in your offer? Yeah, the uh, Kalonos SE with a smaller sensor we are keeping just to close the, the price range a little bit yeah, to the, to the lower part as well. So the Kalonox SE will remain in the current portfolio, yes. What I also noticed, so another difference uh, when it comes to Kalonox sight model is that the newer model has a narrower thread. So it's not no longer M52, now no. it's 43, is it's that correct? M it's an M43, yeah, we, we needed to change the thread because the, uh, the housing in general, it uh, became, or in general, the whole device became way more compact. Uh, it's a little bit flatter, so an M52 thread would have been too big, so we went one step down to the M43 thread. What are the prices on all the models? Um, in general, it's two prices, so the prices between the, uh, the site and the view is the same. Um, the price difference comes from the integrated laser rangefinder, so it's 4,700 euros retail uh, without the laser, uh, laser rangefinder and 5,700 with integrated laser rangefinder. So basically the laser rangefinder uh, function brings a 1,000 euro price increase. That's correct. What is the, the, um, the range of the laser rangefinder? Um, it ranges out to about 1,500 meters. 1,500 meters. That's great. Um, when can we expect these to hit the market or at least become available for, for purchase for the, the end customer? Uh, the sales start uh, is the 2nd of April. 2nd of April. Um, so a really nice device. I, I really like the form and everything. Uh, it's made in Germany. Uh, so yes, we have a European only, uh, German European only supply chain. So that means all parts, yeah, in the inside, whatever, uh, they are from Germany on around Europe. The sensor, for example, comes from uh, from Lindert in, uh, in France. So there's no no Asiatic parts in there. It's only Germany and Europe, European supply chain. What about the warranty period that you provide on the thermos here? Um, like with the Kalonox one, uh, three years overall. Thank you very much, Bjorn. I think we covered everything that is needed to know. If you do have any additional questions, you can uh, drop them in the comment section. Hit like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our other videos from EVA 2024, and see you next time. Take care. Take care.